Hello, how you doing? It's Mr. Do the Math Friends. Today we're going to write quadratic equations, right? Write quadratic equations, right? So, in writing quadratic equations, there are just simple steps that we're going to use, right? Step one, right? Step one, we're going to use the vertex form, right? Do y'all remember what vertex form is? It's like a uh, number A X minus H, oh, H to the second K. Plus, K. plus K. Right. So we're going to use the vertex form because most of the times, because when we're trying to write the equation of a quadratic function, we're going to be given the vertex and we're going to be given a point that the parabola goes through. Right. And so the steps or the process to writing a quadratic equation is kind of the same way of writing um, a linear equation, slope-intercept form, right? So you're substituting in and solving for something, right? In this case, we're gonna be solving for eight. So the uh, step one, we're gonna use vertex form. Step two, we're going to substitute, uh, we're gonna substitute H and K from the vertex, right? Into the equation. And the point X and Y for X and Y. Right? So we're substituting H and K values, and then we're going to use the other point for X and Y. Right? Um, after that, we're going to solve for A. Right? We're solving for A. Because what happens is, this vertex formula is Y equals, right? Y equals that. So basically what's happening is, when given the vertex, H and K are there. And then x and y from this point go here, right? Once we have that, the only variable that's left is a, so we're solving for a. After we solve for a, we substitute a, h, and k into, into the equation, and then we're done. Okay? That's it. Okay? So let's do a couple. Right? So looking at this graph, Looking at this graph, first things first, tell me what the vertex is. What's the vertex? What does the vertex look like it is? Ooh. Negative three. Negative what? Negative three, negative what? Uh -huh. Negative five, right? So we got the vertex. And then give me one of those points. So the vertex is negative three, negative five, and then one of the points is negative two, negative two. Negative two. Good. So. We have a vertex and we got a point, okay? Step one, we're using this vertex formula. So y equals a times x minus h squared plus k, okay? So this is the formula that we have, all right? The vertex, negative three is h, negative five is k, negative two is x, and negative two is y. So we're substituting all of these letters into this equation. So y, negative two, equals a, which we gotta find, times x, negative two, minus h, squared plus k, negative five. All right, so everybody see what we did. So we substituted all of those values in, okay? All right, so we substituted h, k, x, and y. Now we gotta do the math, right? So here we go, negative two equals a, times negative two plus three. What's negative two plus three? Negative, negative two plus three is one. Squared plus negative five, right? Or just say minus five, right? So we have this. This simplifies to be negative two equals a minus five, because one squared is one. And then we're gonna solve for a. Solve it for a, add five to both sides. So A equals positive three, okay? So now we have our A value, we got H and K, and then we substitute it back into the original equation. So it'll be Y equals A times the quantity of X minus H, so it'll be plus three, because it's minus negative three, squared plus K, which would be minus five because k is negative five. Comprende? That's the equation. That's it. That's the equation for that line that of that parabola. You got this written down, bro? Man. All right, what's up, any questions? 
What's that? Wait, where'd you get the plus three from? Plus three, because it was minus negative three. Minus negative three makes it plus three. A equals three, and the A goes right there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay? Let's do another one. Let's look at number two. Number two. Your vertex is what? I got three, four for the vertex, right? And that point, do y'all see that point there? That point's located at five, negative four, right? That's the point, okay? First things first, we're gonna use vertex form and we're gonna substitute H, K, X, and Y. So this is H, three is H, four is K, X is five, and Y is negative four, okay? We good so far? Yeah. Yeah? What's up, Miles? Yep. You good? All right, cool. Let's substitute yeah. it in. So that's Y equals A times X um, minus H squared plus K. Okay? And another thing that might make it even more clear for us if we wrote down the letters, H, K, X, Y. H was three, K was four, X was five, Y was negative four, right? If we see it like this and we plug it in, that might be like even more clear for us, right? So do whatever you need to do to make this work out for you, okay? So once we substitute everything in, we'll do the math, right? So it's negative four equals A, three minus five, I mean five minus three is two, squared plus four, right? Two to the second power, Four. So we got negative four equals four a plus four. Okay. All right. Once we get here, we'll uh, solve for a. Subtract four to both sides. Negative eight equals four a. Divide a equals negative two. Okay. So a is negative two. Once we got negative two, we can plug it back into the vertex formula. So it'll be y equals a times x minus h plus k. I said k, four. Okay. Any questions? Y'all good so far? All right, let's... Yeah, I'm gonna let y'all do number three. But like, outside of negative three, let's number three. Let's jump to number four right fast. Number four. I'm gonna give you the vertex. So you're going to, we're going to uh, graph this parabola. I'll leave that to you. Most important thing is writing the equation. So let's write the equation um, for this uh, quadratic. Write the quadratic equation for this, given that the vertex is um, four negative nine. Number four. number four, yeah. And it passes through one, negative one, two. All right? So the vertex is four, negative nine, and it passes through negative one, two. Okay? So again, let's list H, K, X, Y. H is four, K is negative nine, X is negative one, and Y is two. Right? So we identify what all of our variables are, we gotta find A, right? We gotta find A. So here we go. X, I mean Y equals A times X minus H squared plus K. It's minus nine, right? Then we do the math. It's important that we did this one because y'all might glitch when y'all get answers like this, so we're gonna take care of it right now. So it'll be two equals uh, a times negative five squared minus nine. Five to the second power is what? So it'll be two equals 25a minus nine. Then when we solve, we add nine to both sides, we're gonna get 11 equals 25a. So what is a equal? 11 over 25. 11 over 25. And that's okay. You're gonna have, you you might get a, um, a fraction as an A value, right? You might get a fraction as an A value, right? 
So it, so after that's done, right, we plug it into the equation. So it'll be y equals 11 over 25 times x minus h squared plus k. Okay. Would it matter if it's the decimal? No, you change the decimal. What's the decimal? Oh, I don't know. Oh, okay. Yeah, this could be a decimal. It doesn't matter. Decimal fraction, same thing. Okay? Decimal fraction, same thing. Okay? All right, so again, like writing the equation, writing a quadratic equation, when given a vertex and a point, you're going to use vertex formula. You're going to substitute h and k and x and y from the point and solve for a. Once you solve for a, you plug it back into the equation and bam, 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 you got it. All right? So that's the lesson. If you have any more questions, comment below. Till next time, let's do the math out.